Mr. Chairman, the uh, policy of the United States in China, that is the modern policy, was stated by Cordell Hull in his note to the Jam Japanese emissaries on November the 26th, 1941. In that note, Mr. Hull required as one of the conditions from Japan that the United States and Japan would recognize politically, economically, and militarily no government or regime in China other than the national government of the Republic of China with capital temporarily at Chongqing. After that, in 1942, the United States entered into the Mutual Aid Pact with China. That is the last time we've had a public statement of the policy of the United States in China until the statement made by Secretary Burns and published in the papers today. I might add, I might add, you finish. We have been asked what the soldiers and Marines are doing in China now. Under the terms of surrender, the Japanese army in China was required to surrender to the Generalissimo Chiang Kai-shek, the president of China, whose chief of staff is the American General, Lieutenant General Wedemeyer. What is taking place in China in bringing about the surrender and disarmament of the Japanese army is the concluding chapter of our war against Japan. I might add that the United States has no imperialistic designs in China. We desire the Chinese people to have an opportunity to evolve for themselves a strong, united, democratic government. We're not seeking any special privileges. We're not seeking any monopoly in China. We merely want China to have the kind of government that the Chinese people themselves want. And they have said that they desire a government of the people, for the people, and by the people.